Have you ever looked at your life as a transparent glass? What if you were being watched and every detail of your life was known by many witnesses? Even the stuff that you did in secret? Welcome and hallelujah. We have made it to another day by the grace of God. This is Shoshana with another awesome message about faith, fulfillment, and purpose which we all need, right? God did not call me to condemn anybody. However, He wants me to shine His light. When you shine light in a dark room, you see everything. I will share with you a recent dream that God gave me in regards to the rapture. So what I saw, it happened at nighttime. I saw that there was this one house. It was dark. And in the house, there were balls of light, which were the people. And they were moving out of the windows up towards heaven. It was like light bulbs. <laughs> Each person who belonged to the Lord was looking like a ball of light. That is exactly what we're called in the New Testament. And Jesus is actually called the light of the world. He says, you are the light of the world. So today we will discuss three major concepts on the light of God. First, come into the light. Secondly, examine your life with transparency. And thirdly, clean your house. So first, come into the light. Perhaps you are hiding today from a lot of things. Maybe you don't want to hear certain speakers, certain preachers, not because they're wrong, but just because they're too right. <laughs> you prefer to listen to things that make you feel good and comfort you and help you to relax, especially with all the stressors now, right? If a preacher speaks too much about sin, uh, about repentance or about hell, you just turn them off. Do you stick to just the book of Psalms? Not that Psalms is bad, right? But so that you don't have to come to terms with the more seemingly harsh teachings in the Bible. Those ones that people complain about a lot. Well, it's time for you to come into the light. If you're not being convicted of sin in your life, that doesn't mean you are without sin. It only means your ship is already sinking and it's time to yell, Mayday! Mayday! You should be feeling remorse over your sins and repenting regularly. Examine your life transparently. Let your secrets be known to God, to Jesus. He already knows all about your secret sins and your past unrepented sins. The ones that you have already repented of, He has forgotten forever. So you must forget those too. Don't live in them. He is ever present and God's eyes are all over the earth. Jesus is just waiting for you to start walking in sincerity. Quit lying to yourself and people around you, because it's easy to trick other people. Quit comparing your life with others around you in order to justify yourself. Jeremiah 17.5 says, Cursed is the man who trusts in a man. Just come, it's time to come to terms with who you are now before God and Jesus. So live your life transparently in honesty. The Bible says in Luke 12 too, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be made known. So thirdly, clean your house. So like when we started, we talked about what happens when you turn on the light, switch on the light on a dirty house, like my kids' rooms are usually messy. <laughs> I don't even want to turn on the light. You immediately see the mess and the dirt and the grime. Have you ever watched that show Hoarders? It seems like the people who live in those horribly messy houses are sometimes oblivious to the filthy conditions in which they live. They've accepted that as if it's normal. Did you know someone? Some of us are actually like that too, but spiritually? I'll be honest with you. I hate cleaning houses. 
some of you who know me well, that you know that I would rather pay, pay somebody else to do it rather than have to do it myself. But if somebody came over to my house, they might say, oh wow, what a mess, right? But is that what God would say when he comes to your house, to your spiritual home, your heart? Is there gossip on your tongue? Is there unforgiveness in your heart? Do you have bitterness towards someone? Are you living lies? Are you being selfish and greed, greedy? Are you living in fornication? It's time to let God's light shine in your life and let Him start cleaning your house. It's time for the intervention from the Lord Himself. Let Him make all things new.